Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the most hyped cybersecurity buzzword nowadays, and that is passwordless authentication. We are going to take a closer look at what is passwordless authentication, what are the different types of methods available, the benefit it offers with real-world example, and its best practices for implementing in your organization and for your personal use. So let's get started. We all know in today's digital age, we rely heavily on online services and applications to conduct our daily business and personal lives. But with this increased reliance comes an increased need for security and that is where passwordless authentication comes in. Passwordless authentication is a method of user authentication and as the name also suggests that it does not rely on the use of passwords. Instead, it uses other forms of authentication such as biometrics, security token or one-time code sent via text message or email to verify a user's identity. The idea behind passwordless authentication is that it offers a more secure and convenient way of authenticating users as compared to traditional password-based authentication, where passwords can be easily guessed, stolen or forgotten and are often reused across multiple systems and services. Passwordless authentication methods, on the other hand, are less susceptible to these types of attacks and can be more difficult to impersonate. In recent years, we have seen a growing number of organizations and individuals turning to passwordless authentication as a way to improve their security posture. And this is because passwordless authentication provides a more secure and convenient way of accessing sensitive resources without the need to remember and manage multiple passwords. There are several different types of passwordless authentication methods, each with its own unique advantages and disadvantages. Let's take a look at a few of the most popular methods. And the first one is biometric authentication. This method uses a user's unique physical or behavioral characteristics such as fingerprints, facial recognition, or voice recognition to verify their identity. Biometric authentication is becoming increasingly more popular as it is easy to use and it is difficult to impersonate. For example, Apple's Touch ID and Face ID are the most popular biometric authentication methods on smartphones. Second one is security tokens. This method uses a physical device such as a USB key or a smart card to generate a one-time code that is used to authenticate the user. Security tokens are highly secure as they are difficult to duplicate or steal. They also provide an additional layer of security as the token must be in the possession of the user to access the service. Some popular security tokens are Google's Titan Security or Ubico's YubiKey. And third one is one-time password. That's also called OTP. This method sends a code via text message or email to the user's mobile phone or email address. The user then enters the code to complete the authentication process. One-time codes are convenient as they can be sent to any device and they are relatively easy to Im implement. Google Authenticator and Microsoft Authenticator are a few examples of one-time code-based authentication. Now comes to benefits. Passwordless authentication offers several benefits over traditional authentication methods that rely on passwords. First is increased security. By eliminating the need for passwords, passwordless authentication reduces the risk of password-related security breaches such as password reuse, weak passwords, and phishing attacks. This makes it more difficult for attackers to gain unauthorized access to sensitive systems and data. Next is improved user experience. Passwordless authentication methods such as biometrics and one-time codes are faster and more convenient for users than entering complex passwords. This can help to reduce frustration and improve the overall user experience. 
Next is reduced administrative overhead. Passwordless authentication eliminates the need for users to remember complex passwords and for administrators to reset forgotten passwords. This reduces the administrative overhead associated with password management. Improved accessibility. For users who may have difficulty remembering passwords or typing them accurately, passwordless authentication methods such as biometrics can provide a more accessible way of authenticating. Increased adoption. By making authentication faster and more convenient, passwordless authentication can increase adoption of secure authentication practices. Let's take a look at some real world examples of organizations that have adopted passwordless authentication and the benefits they have seen. Here are a few real world examples of organizations in India that have successfully implemented passwordless authentication. HDFC Bank. HDFC Bank, one of the largest private sector banks in India, has implemented passwordless authentication for its mobile banking application. Customers can log in using biometrics or a one-time code sent via SMS. This has helped to improve the security and user experience of HDFC Bank mobile banking services. Kotak Mahindra Bank, one of the leading private sector banks in India, has implemented passwordless authentication for its mobile banking application. Customers can log in Customer can log in using biometrics or one-time code sent via SMS. This has helped to improve the security and user experience of Kotak Mahindra Bank's mobile banking services. Paytm, India's largest mobile payment and financial services company, has implemented passwordless authentication for its mobile app. Customers can log in using biometrics or a one-time code sent via SMS. This has helped to improve the security and user experience of Paytm's mobile app. PhonePay, a leading mobile payment and financial services company in India, has implemented passwordless authentication for its mobile app. Customer can log in using biometric or one-time code sent via SMS. These are just a few examples of successful implementation of passwordless authentication. The adoption of passwordless authentication is growing rapidly in India and many more organizations are likely to implement similar solutions in the coming years. Here are some best practices guidelines for implementing passwordless authentication. First, use multiple authentication methods. To provide an added layer of security, it's best to use multiple authentication methods. For example, you could use a combination of biometric authentication and security tokens. This way, even if one method is compromised, the attacker would still need to bypass the other method to gain access. Second, encrypt sensitive data. Sensitive data such as biometric templates and security tokens should be encrypted both in transit and at rest. This ensures that even if the data is intercepted or stolen, it will be difficult for an attacker to access it. Use a secure storage for tokens. Security tokens should be stored in a secure location, such as hardware security module, which also called HSM, or a secure element in a device. This helps to protect the tokens from physical attacks and unauthorized access. Regular re-updating system and software can help to patch any known security vulnerabilities and keep the system up to date with the latest security features. Monitoring and logging user activity can help to detect any suspicious activity or malicious behaviors and can also be used to investigate any security breaches that may occur. Regularly reviewing and testing the security of a system can help to identify any potential vulnerabilities and ensures that system is functioning as intended. Implement a user education program. It's important to educate users on how to use passwordless authentication methods properly and to be aware of phishing and social engineering attempts that could trick them into giving away their tokens or biometric data. 
Here are a few tips of how to secure passwordless authentication methods. Encrypt sensitive data such as biometric templates and security tokens both in transit and at rest. This ensures that even if the data is intercepted or stolen, it will be difficult for an attacker to access it. Security tokens should be stored in a secure location such as a hardware security modules, also called HSM or a security element in a device. This helps to protect the tokens from physical attacks and unauthorized access. Use secure communication protocols such as HTTPS or SSH to protect data in transit. Use a secure key management solution to protect the encryption keys used to encrypt data. This ensures that only authorized parties can access the data. Use multi-factor authentication to provide an added layer of security. For example, a user could be required to provide a fingerprints and a security token to gain access. Keep software and firmware up to date to ensure that the software or the system is protected against latest security threats. Use a secure management solution to monitor and log user activities and detect any suspicious activities or malicious behavior. Regularly reviewing and testing the security of your system can help to identify any potential vulnerabilities and ensure that the system is functioning as intended. As we have seen so far, passwordless, passwordless authentication is a powerful tool for improving security and convenience. However, it is important to remember that the passwordless authentication is not a one-size-fit-all solution. Different methods may be more appropriate for different use cases and it's important to carefully consider the specific needs of your organization when implementing passwordless authentication. That being said, I would highly recommend that you consider implementing passwordless authentication in your, in your own organizations or for your personal use. The benefits it can bring in terms of security and convenience are well worth the effort and it can help to protect your organization and personal information from cyber threats. Once again, with the right planning and implementation, passwordless authentication can be a very powerful tool for improving security and convenience. If you are interested in learning more about passwordless authentication, I encourage you to do more research and Reach out to me anytime for any more information. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out my other videos for more information on cyber securities and other related topics. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel, like and share my videos.